Kepler's laws define planetary motion of orbits around the sun. The first law states that the orbit of a planet is an ellipse with the sun at one of the two foci. This means that any planet orbiting the sun follows an elliptical shape. The sun is placed at one of the two foci points. Second law, a line segment joining a planet and the sun sweeps out equal areas during equal intervals of time. Let's draw this. These two shapes have equal areas. This law states that since they have equal areas, the time it takes this planet to go from here to here is equal to the time it takes for this planet to go from here to here. This tells us that angular momentum is conserved in an orbit, but angular velocity is constantly changing. Third law, the square of a planet's orbital period is proportional to the cube length of the semi-major axis of its orbit. This is a semi-major axis. It connects from the center to the ellipse point. The period is the time it takes for one full orbit to be completed. Therefore, period squared is proportional to the semi-major axis cubed, or this equation.